link and I want to see what you guys have to say. How do I feel about this? I don't even know what it means <laughs> if I'm really going to break it down. I will say this, though. Should women who are in marriages and they got these kids, should women uh, be allowed to cheat? No. Should men in these marriages, they got three kids, should these men in marriages with kids, should they be allowed to cheat? Yes. <laughs> yes. I said it. <laughs> yes. Uh, I know, women. I know. I know y'all are like, I know. But y'all, let's talk about this. <laughs> because I'm being serious. I'm not just doing this whole Derrick Jackson for the men, but men should absolutely, let, 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 me, let me do this, let me do this. Let's really just break it down to see what the hell that I'm talking about, okay? Let us go back, let us pull up our trusty, our trusty little whiteboard, because I gotta I got, I got school y'all on some things. What am I talking about? <clears throat> men should be allowed to cheat. <laughs> Rhonda said, what the fuck, Lee? <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Now, now just, now just, this is going to be hard to do, but just hear me out. Hear me out. All right. Let's do this. Let's say that I was, let's say that, you know, we lived in a land and I was, the judge and the legislature. So I got to make the rules. I'm the king. I'm the king. Does anybody know why men should be able to cheat and women not be able to cheat? I'm gonna, let's do this, let's do this. Sabrina said, TLA just lost my respect. Wait, Sabrina, wait, wait. You're, you're judging me and we haven't even I haven't even got the whiteboard out yet. <laughs> Wait. Here, all right, we're, here's what we're gonna do. I am going. I am going to tell you what the law of the land is. If 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 it were up to me, this is the perfect law of the land. All right. So this is the law. Law. Law on cheating. All right. One. Women are forbidden to cheat, period, all right? That's pretty clear. Now, two, men are forbidden to cheat, period, all right? Now, number three, notwithstanding, Number two, <laughs> men can cheat on their wives under if all of these conditions are present. Let me change the women to wives and men to husbands. All right, so do you see what we're doing? Do you see what we're doing? Women are forbidden to cheat. You, women cannot cheat. Husbands cannot cheat. Those are the general rules. But we have an exception. <laughs> Number three is an exception. Who me is like, okay, I got to see these conditions. <laughs> we're going to call this the TLA exception. What is the TLA exception? What are we doing? All right. So let's do it like this. Let's say uh, this is uh, one, two, and this is three. Now, 
What are what are what are the what are what are, what are, what, are the, what are the conditions under which I allow every single man to cheat? Let's take a look. First condition. Uh, we'll say there's a marriage. They have to be married. All right. Second. Now, guys, listen. This. Oh, let me do it like this so y'all can see. Second, guys, and listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold you to it. Now, listen, guys, it's not just you just get to while out. Second, the husband has to be paying the majority of the household <laughs> bills. <laughs> guys, you gotta be pulling your weight. It can't be that you're going to cheat on your woman and, you know, she's paying 80% of the bills. It can't be that way. You have to be paying a majority of the bills. All right. What is the majority? 51% or more. Right? <laughs> you got to be paying 51% or more of the bills. Now, women, you are not going to like this. Just hang with me, Carmen. Carmen is like, hell no, hang with me. Guys, this is the construction of a law. You can't just get it in. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta sit back and wait and get it all in. You can't just like piecemeal it. You, we're, we're constructing it. So you're judging it too quickly. Just, just give me a little leash. Give me a little rope. You, you're going to see where I'm going. Now, April says most is 95%. I mean, that, that's most too, but most is the majority. I said, I said the guy has to be paying the majority. The guy has to be paying the majority of the bills, okay? The majority of the household bills. So he's going to pay the majority of the household bills. All right, ladies, this is where you're not going to like me. I hope. I don't know a way to say this. So I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Guys are going to feel me on it. It doesn't sound good. Let me preface it by saying everyone controls their own body. Men should not be forced to have sex when they don't want to. Women should not be forced to have sex when they don't want to. If you're a man and you don't want to sleep with your wife, fine. If you're a woman and you don't want to sleep with your husband, fine. Men should not be out here forcing their wives to sleep with them. You know, there's a, there's a word for that. Oh, rape. <laughs> All right. That's unacceptable in this society. Thank the Lord. So we're not doing that. Are you ready? <laughs> this is the condition. The wife must be capable, <laughs> capable, but unwilling to have sex with the husband. I know. I know. This is big. Listen, listen. <laughs> now, listen, guys. If you're a woman, and this helps you, this helps you if you're a woman. If you're a woman, the guy's paying the fucking bills, he's paying the majority of the bills. If you're a woman and you don't want to do your part, but what if you're a woman and you, you're doing your thing? He, he cannot cheat. This is just the exception. This is just the exception. And there's more. A guy has to meet all of these. This is not a, a, a or, or, or. This is an and, and, and. A guy has to meet all of these conditions before he can cheat. All right? So it's not like just one or two things. No. All right? So 
The wife has to be unwell. And do you know who does this a lot? Shout out to nice sisters. Shout out to all of our, our white sisters. White women will cut a white dude off immediately after the wedding. <laughs> I mean, white women cut it off. All of my white friends who have been married over 10 years, almost, they don't even get blow jobs anymore. They don't get nothing. White women will cut it off. After the marriage, you know, it's okay. When the first kid comes, for, for, for our white brothers, that's half of them right there. By the second kid, oh my, oh my God. <laughs> By the second kid, almost none of our white brothers are getting ass. White women are cold with it. They are cold with it. Now, I'll be honest with you. Um, I was married for 10 years. And there are some bad things that my ex-wife could say about me. And there are some bad things, you know, one or two things that I could say about her. Three or four. One thing that I do have to tell, say, though, is that we were married for 10 years. Listen to what I'm saying. Rain or shine, whether she was sick or healthy, whether she had a ton of energy or was tired, whether she was liking me or not feeling me that day. In 10 years, not one time did she say no. Not one. Even when she was angry with a nigga. In a decade. Not once. And, you know, in a decade, not once did I miss a mortgage payment. <laughs> I held up my side of the deal. She didn't work. Can you imagine just 10 years of your life? You're just chilling. No kids. We didn't have any kids. Just chilling. She was chilling. Not one time. Was I like, you know, just completely, you know, maybe, you know, it's like, okay, listen, I, you know, I'm about to come on my period. So I can't do this, but I can do that. All right. I can't do this, but I can do that. It was always, I can do something, something. It's like, come on, leave, man. We can't do anal every day. Like, come on. I like be reasonable. Like, okay. 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 I'm reasonable. We were both reasonable. I mean, she was an asshole, but like, uh, apart, I'm just saying, like, from that perspective, under what, what's the point, guys? Under this law, I never would have been allowed to cheat. I didn't cheat, and I would, I would have never been allowed to cheat because I didn't, I didn't meet this qualification. Some of you men are cheating on your wives, and you don't meet this qualification. I didn't meet this qualification. The wife must be capable but unwilling to have sex with her husband. I, I Under this law, under the law on cheating, I couldn't cheat. And I didn't cheat for 10 years. All right? Even though I was married, even though I was paying the majority of the household bills. But there's one other thing. There's one other thing. And this is, this is why... Well, there's probably, we could, we could go into it more, but, and I want you to notice that it says capable. It's not like the woman got hit by a car and her leg is broken or hip is crushed. And you're like, oh, well, you know, you didn't, you didn't have, you didn't have sex with me. So now I get to cheat because you're, you know, you broke your, uh, you broke your hip, right? I will say this though. Here's another one. Here's another one. This is a fourth one. The husband and the wife must have one or more children, All right? The husband or the wife must have one or more children. Guys, let me tell you something. This last part is the key. It is the key. If, if your wife is capable, if you are married, 
and you are paying the majority of the household bills and your wife is capable but unwilling to have sex with you, but you do not have any children, you are not allowed to cheat. Some of you guys are like, well, I don't know, where were you going? That's the whole point. Shout out to Carmen. Carmen says that makes no damn sense. This is why I see things, guys. I see things that y'all don't see. Like, y'all are just on, like, the level. Y'all are on the earth. And I'm, like, 50,000 feet up, like, in a plane. And I see, I've, I've done this shit for 20 years. I see it all. I see it all. Why is it? Why is it that if the man and the wife, if they don't have a child, why is the husband not allowed to cheat? You're not allowed to cheat because you should get a divorce. You should get a divorce. Why are you cheating when you get a divorce? Just divorce her. You're going to be like, oh, well, she's going to take half. That's what you agreed to when you married her. Did you get a prenup? No, I didn't have anything back then. Well, there you go. Divorce her ass. If she makes you unhappy, whether she's sleeping with you or not, or disrespecting you or not, or whatever she's doing or not doing, if you are unhappy and it looks, you look down the road and you're like, man, this is not getting any better, just divorce her. The fuck are you cheating? Divorce her and start living your life. Be free. You don't have any kids. You don't have any kids. Be free. Why are you still in the house with her? Well, I paid for the house. Well, the judge is not going to give you the house, but, you know, maybe I can sell it and split the equity 50-50. But, but, what happens, guys, when your wife is capable but unwilling to have sex with you and you guys have a kid? And you look down the road. Lee was, you're like, man, Lee told me to, to divorce her, but now I got this kid. What happens if I divorce her? I love my kid. Six years old, we go out and play ball every day. I get to see my kid every single day of the year. When I wake up in the morning, my kid is in this house. When I go to sleep at night, my kid is in this house. What do women say all the time? Women are like, oh, I'm a mama bear. <laughs> I'm a mama bear. I'll do anything for my kid. I'll do anything for my child. I'll go to the ends of the earth for my child. Guess what? A lot of dads feel the same fucking way. You think you're going to take my six-year-old from me? Would I do anything for my six-year-old? You think that you're going to stop having sex and I'm supposed to suffer for the next 30 years of my life. But to get sex, I have to give up my kid? <laughs> Fuck you. If you'll do anything for your kid, I'll do anything for mine. How about that? How about that? You're capable of having sex with me, but you don't want to? Fine. Fine. Don't have sex with me. We got a kid. I done hit it anyway. <laughs> I've already hit. <laughs> You're walking around this bitch in Crocs. Dirty Crocs. 20, 40, 80 pounds overweight. If you don't want to, if you don't want to give me nothing, fine. But what you're not going to do is find a way to force me to divorce you over my libido, and now I lose the ability to wake up in the same house as my child. You're not gonna do it. Now, I'm a man, and all men are human beings. And all human beings have needs. Can I go a month without sex? Yeah. Can I go three months without sex? Yeah. 
but you want me to go six months? You want me to go to a year? And then when I ask you, when I communicate with you, you say, hey, it's been a year. Yeah, I'm just not really, oh, like you're never gonna. And now my child is seeing me grumpy. He's seeing me frustrated. This is the father that my child gets. My father deserves better. My father. My child deserves better. My child deserves a father who is relaxed. My child deserves a father who is satisfied. And my child deserves a father who is in the home every single night of the year. And that's what he's going to get. And if the only thing messing this up is that you decide that you don't want to have sex with me, está bien, güey. No hay pedo, güey. Like, that's good. Okay. But I get to get some ass on the side. <laughs> now, now, let me say this too, because the laws are kind of changing. There's an exception to the exception. The exception to the exception is, uh, so this will be what, number four. The exception to the exception is uh, notwithstanding the above. Uh, the husband is not allowed to cheat if the wife will consent to 50-50 custody. That's it, guys. If your wife is like, listen, I just don't want to have sex with you anymore, but we can co-parent. We'll get a divorce, 50-50 custody. Now you've lost the right to cheat. Now you're back in divorce land. Divorce her. She'll agree to 50-50 custody. She'll agree to no child support. You're going to have your kid an equal amount of time. That's fair. She gets 50% of the time. You get 50% of the time. That's fair. She doesn't get child support. You don't get child support. She works. You work. She supports the child when the child is with her. You support the child when the child is with you. That's fair. That's all you should want. This is not about having your cake and eating it too, guys. But it's not like these women are going to force you to go without sex, vaginal, anal, oral, when you have needs as a human being where you have to choose between your libido and your fucking children. That's, that's, that's not a choice that should be imposed on you. It can't be that, oh, well, either I have sex or I get to see my kids. That's where this law comes in. Now, if she is going to give you half of the kids, half of the custody and no child support, you can't, you can't cheat her on her anymore. You gotta, you're back in divorce land. Divorce her. I don't want to get a divorce. I lose. Well, <laughs> you should have thought about that before you got married. This isn't about assets because you already agreed to what was going to happen in the divorce since you got married without a prenup. But this is about the state giving women an unfair advantage. The state gives women an unfair advantage in so many aspects of family law. And you can level the playing field. That's what this law does. It allows you to level the playing field. Now, if the, if the playing field is level, then it's level. You got to divorce her. If y'all don't have any kids, then, it, it, you know, if y'all don't have any kids, y'all don't have any kids, divorce her. Or if she's willing to give you 50-50 custody and no child support, divorce her. Now, what if she says, oh, well, I'm going to give you 50% custody, but I still want $800 in child support. Now it's unfair again. Now it's unfair again. Because now 
she has custody 50% of the time. You have custody 50% of the time, but now you're supposed to pay her every month $800 until the child is 18 or 21 in New York? Are you crazy? Now I'm cheating. And, you know, I know it's weird for a man to come up here and say men should be able to cheat. And women are like, what the fuck, women? You need to listen. I'm not just up here just doing Derry Jackson shit for the men. I'm being serious. It is not a fair situation for men to make men choose between their necessities and their children. Women are always like, I'll do anything for my children. Well, <laughs> men will too. I couldn't imagine not living with my children. Well, men can't either. So they should be able to cheat every single day of the year. If these conditions are met, don't just clip this and say, all leads said men can cheat every day of the year <laughs> because they can, but only under these conditions. And then there should be rules about the cheating. You should wear a condom. You should not throw it in the girl's on the wife's face. Don't come home with smelling like perfume or lipstick on your collar. No outside babies. Oh, my God. <laughs> now you're back in the same boat. Respectful cheating. It exists. Like, be clean about it. Because this isn't you trying to get over. This is just you trying to live a normal life, a, 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 a fulfilled life. You're not a fulfilled man if you go 30 years without sex unwillingly. You're not fulfilled. And it shouldn't be that the state of Georgia or Florida or New York or Texas or California is making you choose between your fucking libido and your children. So you're trying to even it out. But you know, just don't take advantage. <laughs> Tranquilo, todo relajado, right? What do you guys think? I, now that y'all have heard it, now that y'all have heard it completely, what do you think? All of y'all were like, no, no, what the fuck? Do you think, do you think this is a good law? Women especially. I'm going to drop the link. I'm going to drop the link right now. And I want y'all to come up and women can come up and listen, if you think that I'm, I'm fucking being crazy, you can come up here and talk to me about it. But I'm telling you, I've thought about this exponentially more than you have. When is the last time you heard this law on YouTube? Uh, oh, never, <laughs> never. Because it's in here. Because there aren't on people, there aren't people on YouTube who've been doing this shit for 20 years. But if, if you women think you're just gonna fucking cut men off and take their kids and men are just supposed to take it, you're wrong. You're wrong. If you don't want to get cheated on, give this man 50-50 custody. Or give them the yams. I mean, one of the one of the other, one of the other women. Let me drop the link. Let me drop this link right here. Uh, you can come up. Let me pin it to the top. You can uh, come up and let me see what you say.